Hello again. In this presentation, we will define the multiple object tracking problem. And in the following presentations, we will also talk about the most common type of multiple object tracking, which is called tracking based on detections. And lastly, we're going to discuss a few different variants of multiple object tracking. Before we define multiple object tracking, let's have a look at tracking a single object. Single object tracking is an example of a filtering problem. So what we are dealing with is the sequential processing of noisy sensor measurements to determine the object state. By the object state, we mean the object's position together with properties that describe its motion. This could be, for example, its speed and the direction it is heading. Additionally, we can also include parameters that describe other characteristics that are of interest in a particular tracking application. For example, this could be the shape of the object or its size. So we have measurements that are illustrated by these red circles. And we are interested in processing these measurements to estimate the state of the object, which in this case is a car. A complicating aspect of the filtering problem is that the object state is typically neither fully nor directly observed. So what do we mean by this? Well, let's assume that we are interested in the position and the velocity of the car. To estimate this state, let's also assume that we use a radar that gives us measurements of the range and bearing from the radar sensor to the object. But we can observe the full state, since a single range bearing measurement is related to the position, not to the velocity. In addition, we can't observe the position directly. We have to calculate the position based on the range and the bearing. And lastly, we have to calculate the velocity by processing a sequence of measurements. Multiple object tracking is defined as the sequential processing of noisy sensor measurements to determine the number of dynamic objects and each dynamic object state. Therefore, multiple object tracking is often said to have two equally important parts. The first one is about determining the number of objects. The other is about determining the object states. Indeed, if we were to somehow know exactly the number of objects, the multiple object tracking problem is simplified. So as we have already mentioned, object tracking is a filtering problem. We will review filtering later in this section so that we have it fresh in mind. But please note that you need to know filtering quite well to fully grasp the concepts discussed in this course. Therefore, we strongly recommend that you take the Chalmers X course sensor fusion and nonlinear filtering for automotive systems before you take this course.